Okay, so this is Darby and introduce Hannah. Hi. Hannah. They're they're uh, doing the boat grant this year and is this your first time sailing lightnings in Charleston? Yes. All right. Yes. So I just want to say that never get above them at a start because they will <laughs> take you right over the line. Awesome starters. So she's going to tell us a little bit about what went well and what didn't yesterday. Well, going off of that, I mean, what went well was our starts. I felt really confident on the line. Um, felt like we had our timing down. Like I knew when to accelerate and get off the line. I felt like we could kind of hold our own unless we were in dirty air and then we just like completely so, fell off. So on that start, how do you know that you're in the right place? Do you, are you getting feedback from your to crew? Are you looking or what are you trying to do there? Well, I mean, I'm used to just doing it by myself, so I haven't really incorporated them into the start yet. Um, so it's mostly just me uh, figuring it out. Uh, granted, they do tell me like if there's p uh, people below us trying to come in and stuff like that. Um, and um, it helps that I'm the only one who, or it, I'm the only one who has the clock. So like <laughs> that also is something. So y'all need to get We're some watches. Yeah. So, so Darby is, uh, as you may know already, but a uh, collegiate sailor with Georgia Tech. So he's racing 420s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Hannah was my crew for most of that. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I was the skipper. And it, the problem with collegiate sailing, at least with our club, is that I'm used to sailing with people who don't really know what they're doing. Hannah is an uh, exemption from that. but. Most people don't know what they're doing, so I usually just have to do it. So I'm used to doing that. So it's still, we're still trying to figure out our team dynamic, and me letting them do stuff uh, is a big thing. Uh, so, then, yeah, so what's the other side? What happened? Yeah, Why did you? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> it went downhill from the start. <laughs> I would say we just didn't know. Uh, boat speed was just like not up to par. Um, I feel like we weren't really pointing as well as other boats. Um, but I think that all has to go with our tuning and just like knowing what to tune on the water. Um, not just the stuff beforehand, but on the water, like what to loosen, what to tighten, like when yeah. you're not feeling up to par. Um, so we're still trying to figure that out. And then on top of that, I haven't, I've grown up in the Southeast, but haven't really sailed in Charleston that much. And so I'm still trying to figure out the currents and like wrap my head around that. And um, it was a lot of just like following the fleet because I knew people knew where to go. And I just like, uh, it was hard. <laughs> Well, you know, when I start, I pick Lenny Krawcheck yeah. to follow. Yeah. I want to get near where he is, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and uh, then. But yesterday, the last two races, the Charleston folks went left, and the right was favored. So. Yeah, I know. I saw that, and, and, and I was just like, "What? Like, what is and going Lenny, on?" Lenny was just saying, "Current had nothing to do with yesterday. It was playing the shifts and velocity." Well, that's crazy. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're coming back up here for. Uh, uh, Hobcaw, and then I think Carolina opened oh, yeah, too. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can get it figured out by then. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good drive back to Atlanta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>